What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough, the final episodes right here. So, in our last episode, we actually went through chapter 2, found ourselves a new friend named Emma, a gang, you know, with quotations, I'm doing quotations right here, of uh, Pokemon uh, trainers and all that stuff, and now we have to go through chapter 3. Now, I'm gonna have to walk around just a little bit before I get the next message right here, but we, yeah, we, we are like... Almost there. We're almost done. And here it is. The next message in the holocast here. And it is our boy, Looker. He's like, Draven, it's me, Looker. I want to talk to you about something important. Could you come to the Looker Bureau, please? Sure, why not? Let's do this. Let's go to the Looker Bureau. Okay, so let's go just right behind right here. And, well, apparently there is something going on with Emma right here. Now, once you get into the Looker Bureau, you're going to be finding yourself Looker. You're here, Draven! That, that is good! I need 30 seconds of your time, no more! It is about our new friend, Emma. Ever since she started living here at the office, I've detected some signs of stress in her. This has caused me to worry. What do you think, Draven? Could it be that there's something wrong? Yeah, there probably is something wrong. Interesting, interesting. So, has she confided in you? Or did you use some of the brilliant detective skills you learned from my class? You're an approachable person, Draven, which encourages others to open up to you. You know, when I first invited Emma to live here, my intention was to become a guardian to her. I promised to do everything for her as a parent would. I, I do hope my feelings and responsibilities are not burdening her. Hmm. I wonder. So here it is. Chapter 3, Detective, Tourist, and Gang. And, well, here comes a lady and, whoa, hold the... Uh, Okay, so what, what are you saying there? Uh, something, 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 something. I do not want to seem and I do not want to sound like an asshole. So, uh, she's speaking in Japanese? Probably? Comment down below. If, if you're part of my Japanese audience, Chinese, Korean, what have you, please let me know what language is this. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, Ch it's, it's Japanese, right? Oh, what do we have here? One of our Fair City, uh, Fair City's famous tourists. From your manner of speaking, madam, I deduce that you have traveled far indeed. I am Looker. What may I do for you? And, of course, she is uh, she's saying something that I do not know. So, again, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to think what is going... Well, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to just keep on reading. You know, nod and agree, nod and agree. Oh, wow, okay. Nod and agree, nod and agree, nod and agree. <laughs> My dear lady, I am so terribly sorry, but... Could I, uh, could you, uh, speak a little bit less quickly? Uh, okay, so she, she's definitely saying something. Apparently he understands what he's, what she's saying. And, well, I, yeah, nod and agree. Just nod and agree. <laughs> From what I can gather, it seems that the lady has been giving sore, uh, giving sore offense. And do you know why that would be, Draven, my friend? Because we can't speak the language? I mean, nod and agree, nod and agree. Well, thanks to my gift of four languages, I've learned to travel, or I've traveled all over the world, you know. And it seems she is highly offended that she has come uh, come as a guest and not even been offered tea. Oh, crud. Really? Yes, case closed. Which means, my friend, I must make a haste to obtain the, uh, requ uh, the requisite tea. Draven, please keep our guest company until my return from the vital mission. Wow, if this is the mission, then... Yeah, it doesn't look like she wants tea. It kind of looks like something's stressing her out. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm home, Mr. Looker. Mwah! And here's our friend Emma, and she's like, Oh, Draven, welcome back. Is Mr. Looker out? And who is this old lady? And, yeah, she... Not an agree, not an agree. Not an agree and not an agree. I am not going to... Yeah, okay, something's going on. She's asking a question. And, of course, Emma knows how to speak Japanese, whatever language this is. Not going to do, and, well, look at this, look at this. She, she is speaking the hell out of this language right here. And, well, they're all, you know, they're, they're speaking something. Something's going on right here. I'm just going to nod and agree. Just smile, nod, and agree like a dumbass. That's right, that's me. Hmm. If we keep going like this, then Draven is going to be totally lost. I'm totally lost right now, okay? And I don't feel like opening up the trash talk with this old lady again. Hey, Mimi. How about it? Do you think you can help us out with your power? More. Oh, damn. Okay, so what's going on right here? She used Flash or something? I, I don't know. And, whoa. 
Is this Mimi's mystical power? Somehow you can hear the strange woman's thoughts in your head. And it seems she's uh, she feels worried about saying rude things about Looker and Emma. And she's a real per. Uh, and the real reason she is uh, so troubled is that her precious Pokemon were stolen. Hmm. Is this Mimi's mystical power? Somehow you can hear Emma's thoughts in your head. She doesn't think highly of the insulting woman, that's for sure. It seems she's uh, still worried about her stolen Pokemon. Oh, well, okay, so uh, not an agree. Okay, so there's something going on. Oh, wow. Is this Mimi's mystical power? Somehow you can hear the strange woman's thoughts in your head. And she was talk she was walking through the train station when it happened. A man sneaked up behind her and then stole her bag. The woman did her best to chase him, but he got away. Oh damn. Okay, so what's going on? Is this me This is Mimi's mystical power, god dang it. Somehow you can hear Emma's thoughts in your head. It seems that Emma has some idea of who the man might have been. I return. My apologies for the delay. I have obtained the finest quality tea since our guest obviously has exquisite taste. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Emma. Mimi are, uh, Emma and Mimi are back as well. Yes, excellent timing all around. Emma, have you introduced yourself to our visitor from a faraway land? One more. Okay, so I guess he's going to have to... Yeah, he's going to have to learn to. And... Your link to the other's thoughts suddenly disappears. It seems the mysterious power house, or Mimi's mysterious power was somehow interrupted. Oh, what have we here? Mimi, are you happy to see me uh, come to uh, come home too? Why, I wondered if it would uh, ever happen. I have won over the hard-boiled Mimi. Um, Mr. Looker? This old lady says her Pokemon were stolen. I guess the thieves are still in Lumioi's uh, station. What's that? What's that you're saying? Then it wasn't the tea that she was after? But I bought this fancy expensive... Uh, no, huh, never mind that. Let us focus on what the, uh, what is important now. Come, my friends, we have a case. Just a minute, Mr. Looker. What is it, Emma? Didn't you hear? Her Pokemon has been stolen. We must get them back at once. I bet anything that guy who stole... Or I bet anything that that guy who stole her, this uh, old lady's Pokemon was a part of the Lumioi gang. They're rough types, you know. If we stick uh, if we stick our noses in, that means a battle for sure. Pardon, whom? The Lumioi gang? Yeah, so let's drop it, okay? You know the old lady was talking trash about you while you were out. She ain't nice. It's not worth having a great big fight to help a person like her. Oh, wow. Wow, she... Wow, okay. No, Emma. That is not on. If you see someone in trouble, give help. If you see a Pokemon in distress, you help. That is the policy of the Looker Bureau, and it does not change. No matter what this person may have said about me, it does not change what we do. Now, wait here, please. I must go to the Lumioi station. Okay, alrighty. M Mr. L Looker! Draven, help Mr. Looker. Please, he doesn't have any Pokemon. He once said something. A long time ago, he had Pokemon. A part of that was always with them, but they were they were on a case, and I don't know what happened, but his partner didn't make it. If he tries to stand up to the Lumio gang without a single Pokemon on his side, he doesn't have a chance. Oh, please, oh, please, go help him. You're his partner now, aren't you? Don't let him go alone. Sure, okay. Oh, oh Draven, thank you. The Lumio gang is always somewhere in the platforms of the Lumio station, up on North Boulevard. I think you're powerful enough to face them, Draven. But be ready for anything, just in case. And the lady here is saying something to me. I'm just going to nod and agree. Nod and agree. Okay, so the next place, not so hard, Lumioi Station. And, well, we have to go straight to the northern section of this whole area right here. So let's go right ahead and fly straight north. Yeah, being lazy. I, it could be that, you know, the left side could be the north. But, you know, I got Charizard right here. You know, Godzilla, Godzilla doing all my bidding for me so let's fly and well look at this we are the northern northern board the boulevard and well before we do anything let's go ahead and start healing up our pokemon right here because yeah we've had quite a few battles we've taken a little bit of damage it's okay it's okay we're fine 
We are fine. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go switch to Fluffvolt. It's been a while, Fluffvolt, since I've uh, you've had screen time. So let's go ahead and find the Lumioi Station. Now, let's see. Where could it be? Uh, or, you know what? Let's go right here. Think smarter, not harder. Oh, you know what? It's right over there, I think. I could be wrong. So here it is. The Lumioi Station, right? No, I was wrong. Holy crud. Okay, so yeah, e let's go. Let's go straight to the. Uh, let's go straight to the uh, the what you call it, the guy right here, to take us. Okay, so let's go, Lumi Cab. We're not gonna be spending a lot, but I'm feeling a little. Yeah, I'm feeling a little. Uh, I'm feeling a little lazy right now. So let's go right ahead and let's see services. Lumioi Station. No, let's go ahead and talk to this guy again. Facilities, there we go. Lumioi Station. Where the heck is the Lumioi Station? Jeebus, mother lover. Where the heck is it? Okay, shopping, fine dining, cafe, services, transportation, facilities. Okay, so maybe the service? Lumioi Station. God dang it. Okay. Transportation. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Okay, so there it is. Please take me over there. Should have been done a little quicker, but you know what? It's whatever. 1,000, and, well, here we are, the Lumioi Station, and, well, we gotta look for these guys. So let's go straight down here, see if we can find something or someone. And, well, there it is. Hey, <laughs> what you doing there, old man? You wander in here by mistake or what? Because you'd have to be uh, your trolley to come alone and pick a fight with us. Indeed, hold on to that thought. I am not here to pick a fight. Instead, I have a simple request. Return the tourist stolen Pokemon. You're joking, right? If we just give him back with a pretty please and a thank you, sir, why do we bother you stealing this something? I do not know what they're saying, but I'm just going to read what it says. Looky, looky, old man. Your looker, what's his face, eh? Who are, or who we are is Lumio Gang, and we can't stand the sight of you, got it? Ever since Emma went to live at yours, she ain't never come around to hang with us. What do you mean? You hear me? It's just not on. Why did we nab these lame Pokemon, what do you ask yourself? If it were just the... <laughs> well, it was just getting in your, in your or a manner, weren't it? So get, get your done, old man. Get your Pokemon out and battle. If you win, you take the Pokemon. But if you lose, you got nothing more to do with our Emma. I cannot accept your challenge. Oh, you're scared to fight? Or are you giving it that you don't, don't have a, a single Pokemon to stand by your side? Uh, you er, got it on in one. Yeah, <laughs> You're not having us on. Uh, what the hell are they saying? I'm just like, they, they, they're talking in Cockney or something. Holy crap. Fine. Well, give it your shot and ready yourself. Go find a tall grass or something. Then come back and get your handed, uh, get your hat handed your, oh, I think they meant get your ass handed. Ugh. Words are no use here. I'll have to go later, I'll return and, oh, oh, Draven! <laughs> you got me making an enormous fool of myself. It is as they say, the great looker has no Pokemon of his own. I can do nothing to restore the stolen Pokemon the, to the tourist. Oi, Melth, who are ya? You're with this old man, eh? Nah, then, you're... You can you can take his place like your win a, and we hand a Pokemon. How do you like your chances? Yeah, <laughs> like all my chances. Okay, so let's just go ahead and beat these guys. If you're mates with a gold uh, with the old geezer, then you ain't no friend of mine. At least your Pokemon a punch up. Let's have it there. Yeah, or yeah. Your Emma for Emma and anything for the knuckle sandwich. Okay, so I don't even know what they're saying. I'm just gonna battle. Okay, so here we go, We're taking on the Lumio gang member, Sedna, and she is coming out with her Mandibuzz. Okay, Mandibuzz. You're looking like, uh, you're looking like you're pretty strong right there. Or, oh crap, I just accidentally pressed the signal beam. Eh, it's not gonna do much, but here comes a whirlwind attack. It prevents it from getting hurt from any electrical attacks right here. So, let's go with Godzilla, Godzilla, and just burn it to a crisp right here. So let's go stare into the eyes of the Flare Blitz. Eat it. Look at that. Mandibuzz defeated. Oh, wow, no. Not defeated yet, and 
Oh crud! What the hell? Are they, what the hell is it doing? In oh embargo. Okay, so it can't use any moves that we have. Okay, Dragon Claw for the win. Eat it. Alrighty, so no more Mandibuzz right there. Feeling great, awesome, good, and look at that. Guy at number three grows to level 82 without doing anything. So now, let's go right ahead and, uh... Huh! <laughs> What's with you? Guy, you're so too strong. So that's one down, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Gaia. We haven't seen you ever. Could have used you in the next episode right here, so... Guess it's down to me to teach you what's uh, what's what? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't mind if I do, because I'm going to do it for Emma. So they're talking about Emma. Now I'm kind of thinking that Emma has something to do with these guys. So let's go ahead and take on Iris, and she's coming out with her Pangoro. And I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon for this one right here, but it's fine, it's fine. I can, you know, I can manage. Pangoro is still a fighting type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam, do your thing. And there goes Pangoro. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just like they said, look at that. And Bonesaw grows to level 71 right there. And she is going to be coming out with a Buffalant. So let's go right ahead and go with our good old buddy, Goku, right here. Now, before I continue on right here, guys. Now, it's been a while since I've spoken about this, but reason be, like the reason to why it's taken me such a long time to actually come out with the final episodes right here, Pokemon X, got a little lazy. I think it was towards uh, November. I want to say it was towards November where I had everything planned to finish these things off, but I got a little lazy. My bad. But it's, you know, we're here, May. It's about to be done. I cannot wait to finish it off, okay? So that's another one right there. Well, now you're stronger than you look, you cheeky thing. All right, bring it on. <laughs> hey, stop your messing about. Beat me, you're not serious. Yes, I am. You're what now? You're what? Let's do this. We need Emma here to get with us. Got it? Still don't know why, why, why it's got it or something. So here we go. Nyx is ready to battle, and he's coming out with his Drudagon. Easy. Just very easy. So yeah, just like I said, guys, I got a little lazy with the whole Pokemon X thing. Uh, I've been very outspoken about the whole, uh, you know, the whole Pokemon X and Y thing where Nintendo or just the Pokemon company dropped the ball on the whole not coming out with its uh, a sequel to it. You know, we were all looking forward to Pokemon X or Pokemon Z. If that was ever going to be a, a game, we were all looking forward to, let's see, X and Y too. Because I think that's where they were going to the whole entire time. I don't even know, guys. But we were looking for that third game, Generation uh, 7 or Generation 6, whatever we are in. And never came. And then on top of that, the, the end game right here. This is basically the end game to Pokemon X and Y. The Looker events. Kind of dropped the ball right there. They could have just done something a little bit bigger with the legendaries and whatnot. But everything was, everything was into one little section and that was in the main game so that's probably another reason why I stopped doing this whole Pokemon X right here and what got me to thinking that you know I need to finish this off is because yeah I'm in my week off and might as well do it for more episodes right here and look at this was a what what what, what did pain right then I'll have it here and oh damn here comes the godmother stop it all of you uh oh Emma Stop it, I mean it! And return those stolen Pokemon. Well, if it... If that don't take the biscuit, this is down to you, Emma. You just couldn't be bothered with us no more. What's the point of us if you don't show up? You're the boss of this gang. Did you think uh, we'd miss you? Going off and... Or going off with this bad news and never thought that uh, you're old mates. Thanks for nothing. Oh, put a sock in it. I said... I said up a front, don't count on me. You went ahead and called me boss without even asking what I wanted. I decide for myself. Now back off before I really lose it. Oh damn. N no, none of that. We got it, boss. We got it. You don't have to be the boss. We've just been messing here since, since you stopped coming around. Here, we'll give you back the Pokeballs. So forgive us, all right? All right. Well, then enough said. I'll let it go this time. But 
you need to say you need to say sorry to the lady you stole it from and to mr. looker too yes ma'am I will I'm awful sorry for nicking the Pokemon you got me bag of two rights forgive me um, of course the Pokemon shall be safely restored so I uh, let's call it water under the bridge <laughs> and case closed cheers Draven and Emma let's head back to the Blooker Bureau okay oh I forgot something wait 30 seconds hey folks uh, it's your wish to be friends with Emma is that correct you're sus that out eh? when people behave e with evil intentions I cannot turn away lightly and forgive such especially people who do cruel and thoughtless things for example stealing p the beloved Pokemon of other trainers however I believe no I not just believe I know people in Pokemon are both capable of evolving and so, if you give your word and not of honor not to ever lift a hand in cruelty again, then you may come uh, come by the Looker Bureau anytime to visit Emma as her friends. Mr. Looker. Sir, let us now return back once more to the Looker Bureau. Okay, alrighty, look at that. We're kicking ass, taking names, and well, she's got some explaining to do, I guess. Mr. Looker, I'm really sorry about that. What happened earlier? When that woman insulted you, I just saw red, and I, I... If you learn something from it, that is all I need to hear, Emma. But that is not what concerns me now. Imagine how I feel to discover that you were the boss of the, uh, that gang. Oh, it's just silly. I wasn't, the, I wasn't the, in the gang for real. I had a big fight with them one time, and after I took them down, they figured I was their boss. It was all their idea, not mine. Oh. She may look like a cute kid, but Emma is crazy strong. She she really is. Looker, sir, and Mr. Draven. Well, it's the lad from the gang. You're here for a visit already. Good. Um, you can trump, you can drop uh, the sir business and call me Looker, as you say, sir Looker. Here's uh, here's the thing. See, us and the Lumio gang are going to evolve, just like you said. We're all done with uh, choring and cheating. We're looking for honest work. So please let us come around and see our Emma, won't you? Da -da 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 -da. That's excellent. Deciding to change your course in life is more than evolution. It's a mega evolution. There is no substitute for honest work if you want to make a difference in this world. Yeah, that's what. That's right then. See you later, Emma. Hey, Mr. Looker. Um, hmm. What is it, Emma? Mr. Looker, you said that there is no substitute for honest work if you want to make this uh, difference in, the, in this world. But I don't do any work at all. You asked me to be your assistant, but I never done any work the whole time I the whole time I've been staying here. All I've done is learn things from you. Is that really enough? Is it really okay for me to be here? These are good questions, Emma. You have been learning nonstop since you came here, have not? Learning is a very important work at any age, especially for you now. Continue, uh, continue to pour your heart into the, your studies. You have no need to worry. But Mr. Looker, we're always here in the Looker Bureau, and there's almost, uh, well, there's almost never any clients. Are Mimi and I just getting in your way? I mean, you went and turned down taking money from the uh, tourist lady. Be straight with me, Mr. Looker. I'm asking, really, if it's really okay for Mimi and I to stay here, money-wise. You have no need to worry. One would expect the hard-boiled detective has a savings set aside, indeed. Yes, indeed, Looker's savings are as lofty as Sinnoh's own Mount Cornet. Hmm, perhaps you have not met up with uh, Mount Cornet in your studies yet, Emma. <laughs> I ask you to leave such worries to me. Your party is a study uh, hard, so you can uh, become my trusted assistant. Deal? Good? It is good. Okay. Alrighty, okay. So what's next? Hey, Mimi. More. Mr. Looker said that we didn't need to worry about anything, you know. But I just don't feel like we can keep depending on him like this forever. He lets us stay here for free and pays for all the food we eat. More. So I think we need to do something. More. Thanks to Mr. Looker, I can read now, right? And I've seen signs around the part-time work. More. The signs say is easy work and anyone can learn it. Maybe if I can do it, then I'm going over to uh, going over there right now to ask them for a job. What do you think, Mimi? Mwah, mwah. 
<laughs> really? And she already knows what he's or what Mimi is saying. Okay. Alrighty. So that was the. Well, I think that was what one, two, the third chapter in this whole adventure right here. We still have. Uh, let's see. I gotta take a look at this right here. Because we're very, very close, guys. Very close to finishing this whole walkthrough right here. Yeah, okay. So we got like three more chapters to go. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going in for some Pokemon battles, doing a lot of things, crazy stuff, Gattaca, that whole shebang. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.